Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial on screen capture uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you start editing your videos uh, and I've got one of my weekly Excel hack videos here that is unedited at the moment uh, and I've just opened it up as if it was opened when you first finish a recording um, and it comes through like so so down here you've got different tracks uh, and I'll go through which one what each of these are in a second uh, up here you have a uh, a kind of a preview of how your video is going to look so as you go through you can see that uh, here you've got a slider which is where you're currently playing so if you press play you'll see that this slider moves across like this um, over here we've got various things I'm just going to see if I can make a bit smaller no I can't uh, so you've got clip bin library call out zoom audio transitions cursor effects uh, I'm going to be going through these in the coming tutorials um, and then up here you've got your save uh, open import uh, produce uh, and then you've got your options so I'll be going through these uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how you use this slider down here so you have this big grey thing that you can click and drag around uh, and as you press play it moves across and plays it. Uh, we've also got a green bit on here, if you click and drag this then it highlights out uh, and if you click and drag the red one it highlights in the other direction. So these two are your kind of selection uh, and for example at the start of the video if I play this you'll see I kind of have a little bit where I sit around and kind of psych myself up. Um, pretty much do that on every video, uh, just because I'm cool like that. And then I will Hello, but... <coughs> get started badly in Hello, that case. Every... So I just need to delete that first part there. So I can use this zoom button here to zoom in a bit more and give me a better view of the audio. And I just need to click and drag my side. Uh, and you can do shift and an arrow uh, in order to highlight instead if you find that easier um, I normally just click and drag uh, and then you right click and you can either press cut or delete uh, delete will remove it uh, and, but it will leave everything where it kind of was if you press cut it shifts everything across and fits it into place so it depends on what you want to do as to whether you want to delete or whether you want to cut various audio so now hello. my video starts straight off by going hello um, next I'm going to show you how to add in an extra clip so down here I've got a little adjust trike track height so I'm just going to go like this you see I've got lots of different tracks and I can add more things in uh, here at the moment on my current three tracks I've got down here my system audio so this is the noise that my computer is making I've got my screen capture so this is what was recording my screen uh, and then my webcam and my sound of me speaking are both mixed into the same one. I can split these out if I want by going to right click and separate video and audio uh, which is something I normally do because I don't like mixing them up so I've then got my video of me and then my capture of the sound. Uh, you can rename the tracks if you want so if I want to come down here and rename this, so this is system sound rename that one to screen so on and so forth. I generally don't name my tracks unless I've got a lot of them uh, and then webcam and narrative uh, so they're your different tracks. Uh, I'm actually going to want to add another track in uh, and this is my intro video. So in order to do this I'm going to put go on to import media. I'm going to find my intro which I just have a shortcut on my desktop uh, and that will add it into what's called your clip bin at the side. If you can't see your clip bin it's because you're on one of these so just make sure you're selected on clip bin 
and then once you've got clips in your clip bin you just click and drag them onto your player uh, and I'm just going to drag this into a new track and I'm going to call that track intro uh, I then need to line these up so I'm going to highlight all four of these other tracks and I'm just going to line them up by clicking them and dragging them next to their intro I then just need to go through and edit the entire video so I can see that I've got gaps in my speech so I just need to go through and cut any of these out so in order to do this I'm just going to highlight delete uh, and in this particular case I've used delete because uh, if you've watched my Excel hacks videos you know that I've got a little gaps in between the different hacks so I just have to go through and delete all these gaps and instead put in the titles of what the next hack is going to be uh, and it's quite easy to pick them out normally I'll generally watch through the video uh, and do all my editing as I'm watching it so I'll watch, go, oh I need to edit that, need to edit that the worst thing you can do is start sharing videos without watching them it's a massive mistake that some people, including myself when I started off make is not watching your video before you upload it and editing anything that you need to edit um, because uh, it's, I know myself I say a lot of stupid things that need to be got rid of so that's going to be it for this tutorial I've been hopping on for quite a while now about editing uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how you use call outs so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon